Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the parameters for a user. Normally, in a, when you use SAP, the end user, some of the screens, he wants his own value populate in those screens. Uh, that way, when he goes to the screens, the values are always populated. This is not uh, security, but this is just a convenience. Uh, for the user so that he doesn't have to enter the values You can still override the values uh, But this is just uh, we want some of the screens to populate with predefined values So when you go to transaction su01 slash m su01 And then pick up any user Let's say, for example, SAP star. So, if you display the user, <coughs> there is a field here called parameters. There's a field here called uh, parameters. So, uh, how do we populate? Let's say, for example, the user is asking, I want uh, for company code, I want uh, 2000 to be populated in the company code field. Right? So he's asking like that. So how do we find out what is the parameter ID for the company code and how do we populate it here? That's the question. So how do we find the parameter ID? So let's say, for example, we go to transaction slash and x. So there are uh, company code purchasing or account group. Okay. <clears throat> so vendor cannot we cannot do parameter ID because vendor keeps changing. So the parameter IDs can be possible for uh, some of the organization values. So for example, we want to find the parameter ID for company code. So what we need to do is we need to click on F1, put our cursor on that particular field. Put the cursor on a particular field and then click F1. Okay, and click on this technical information. Click on this technical information. So here you see the parameter ID BUK. So note this down. This is where this is what you need to enter in the parameter ID. So let's go to the next field. So you click on F1 when you're putting the cursor on that particular field. Click on technical info. You see EKO is a parameter ID. Right. Or you can just go click on F1. Click on KA, KGK is the parameter ID. Okay, like this you can find the parameter IDs for each user or each field. So each field. Then you go to user SU01, click on change, go to the parameters, so K, A, K, B, K, company code, C, 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 so you can just put your values here 3000. you want so now this will become the default values and the user logs on to that when I mean, the user executes that particular transaction I hope you if you have any questions please put your comments thank you